Wait a minute. E moves? Wait, what is this? U perms. There are a number of U perms that are used, like the popular MU U perms, which the famous YouTuber J perm uses, the R3 U perms, which Cubehead uses, and the S move U perms, which were made popular by Yu Xing Dao, the current 3x3 single record holder. According to this PDF, which there's a link in the description, I found this off the web called the Anthony Brooks PLO. Getting a UA perm or a UB perm will happen one out of every nine times. So I would say that they're very common. And I don't know about you, but I would want to know some really good and fast U perms. So the goals of this video are to find the best and lowest move count U perms, find the most consistent U perms, and the fastest U perms. To explain what makes an algorithm good, watch this clip. If you look at the T perm, you'll see that it is 14 moves long. So right now, our move count is 14 moves. Now if we look at that clip again, we'll count the amount of wrist turns in the out. Seven wrist turns. Now we count the finger flicks in the out. Seven finger flicks. So looking at the tape room, it is half wrist turns and half finger flicks. That is a seven to seven ratio. By the way, you should totally check out that video. But for now, instead of saying wrist to finger flick ratio, we're just gonna say WFF ratio for short. Now here is the long list of all the UA perms and all the UB perms. Yeah, I know you see that. E moves, that's right. We'll get to that if you watch till closer to the end of this video. So let's take a look at the lowest move count E perms. And oh my gosh. There are a lot of seven move algorithms for this. So here are the UA perms, and here are the UB perms. Now to be fair, a lot of these algorithms are basically the same algorithm, just from different angles. So let's take those away, and here is the actual list. So both the first and second ones are the ones I currently use, and they're both really good algorithms. The first one is really easy to perform and consistently fast because of how short it is. The other one is really hard to perform accurately, but it can be really super fast, like a great contender for one of the fastest U perms. So let's look at the WFF ratio to see the difference between the two. When we look at the MU version of the U perm, it has a zero to seven wrist to finger flick ratio. In other words, it has no wrist turns and it's all finger flicks. Meanwhile, let's look at the RS version of the U perm, one to two one wrist turn to two finger flicks now you may be thinking one move i think he might have failed math class one plus two does not equal seven but you see although the majority of the time the wrist and finger flick moves will directly correlate with the move count what makes this algorithm so special is that it doesn't follow this rule now as you can see i am doing r2 u4 r2 in what one wrist turn and what this u perm basically is is R2, U4, R2, with S moves between, giving you the full algorithm, R2, U prime, S prime, U2, S, U prime, R2. And since you flick twice during the S moves, that makes the WFF ratio one to two. This makes it a very, very strong contender for the, one of the fastest U prime algorithms. Now let's look at the third algorithm. It has a zero to seven WFF ratio, but it isn't very good compared to the other two algorithms because every flick I do, I have to reset my fingers, which is not quite a regret, but very close to one. Either way, it's not as good. Now let's look at the U perms that range from eight to nine moves. Now, if I have to be honest with you, all these algorithms suck. The first two algorithms are nearly impossible to finger trip without having to regroup, and that is a major deal breaker for any algorithm if it has a rotation on it. Unless it's an F12 pair, then you should probably learn another algorithm. So let's look at the 11 move U perms. So first let's get rid of all the algorithms that have mirrored versions or the same algorithm but mirrored. So after going on with these algorithms, I saw two popular ones which I see many keepers use. So the first algorithm shown is often the first U perm algorithm people learn and use and is probably one of the worst ones out of this list. Although it is completely degen, it's, it's very hard to perform without using root grips. The only time I would consider using this algorithm is during OH, which stands for one-handed. The second algorithm, there is one way to do it, root gripless, but to do it that way makes it very awkward to perform. That is why I personally would not recommend this algorithm. For the third algorithm, this, this is a rather popular one. It actually flows really nice. It is completely 2-gen, and it has a 6 to 5 WFF ratio, 
so this could be a possible contender for the fastest U-curve. For the fourth algorithm, it flows very well, but nothing compared to the previous algorithm, which we talked with the 6 to 5 ratio as well. I think the reason why the other algorithm flows better is because it just feels way more natural to turn with my wrist compared to this one, where I almost have to put my wrist in a weird spot to finish the algorithm. This also making it difficult to complete AOF afterwards. Now, before we move on to the next few perms, I just want to ask that if you're really enjoying my content, that you please subscribe because videos, especially like these, take a lot of research, time, work, and effort. Now, let's get to our 12 and 13 move U perms. And boy, were these definitely con some contenders. The first two are basically just like reverse of each other. So we'll just talk about one of them. The first two actually flowed really well, but then I realized they look very similar to another popular algorithm. And guess what? It turns out that they're literally just this algorithm from formed from the side, and same for the other one, which is the same thing but in reverse. Now, these algorithms have a 6-5 WFF ratio, which you would think is pretty good, but is nothing compared to the third algorithm. This algorithm is actually so good. Although it is 13 moves, which is almost twice as much as our lowest move count u perms flows so well and is a very good contendent for both the fastest u perm or the most consistent u perm. Now let's finally get out to our longest u perms and definitely the most interesting u perms, R, L, and u perms, which aren't even that great because they aren't two gen like the rest of the algorithms. And we're not going to go over these because of those two reasons. Wait a minute, e moves? Wait, what is this? R. E prime? Wait, what? R E prime R R E prime R U R E R U R E prime R U two. Wait, what? These algorithms actually flow really nicely. They have an eight to seven WFF ratio, and they actually are pretty good. They seem like they would be pretty great contenders for the most consistent u perms, but they are just unfortunately really long compared to the other ones, so that might put them at a disadvantage. So, for the final conclusion, the best, lowest move count u perms are these two algorithms R2, U prime, S prime, U2, S, U prime, R2. And for the UB perm, M2, U, M prime, U2, M, U, M2. The most consistent U perms are for the UA perm, M2, U, M prime, U2, M, U, M2. And for the UB perm, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R, U, R2, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, R, prime, R prime. And now finally, the answer we have all been waiting for, the fastest U perms, and possibly one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make, are these two U perms right here. Now, if you want to know what are the fastest J perms, click on this video.